Say hey everybody. Hey everyone. It's the young life. The young life. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Halloween week. So if you are new to my channel today, if this is your first time watching any of my videos and you don't know who I am, I am Kiana. I am a mommy of two. I have a four year old boy and a six month old baby girl. And so this week on my channel, I wanted to do a Halloween week series. So basically I want to post a video. Well, I will be posting um, different costume ideas videos every single day this week. So this is just a week long series. And um, basically between both of my kids, I'll either be posting some sibling costume ideas or some like individual costume ideas. If you don't want to go spend that much on a costume that your baby will only wear maybe for a day or just a few hours, then this series will be perfect for you because um, all of the costumes that I'm making will probably be like under $10 basically. But other than that, welcome to Halloween week. Alrighty y'all, so by the thumbnail of this video, Y'all can already see that Journey is going to be a small glass of milk or a bottle of milk or a jar of milk, whatever you want to call it. But um, this costume was so cute. So let me just tell you how I actually put it together. So I got these three pieces of felt from Hobby Lobby. I got four pieces for a dollar. But for this costume, I only had to use red, white, and blue. I picked up a pack of onesies, which were five for ten dollars. So let's just say two dollars. Um, I got my sharpie on him, my scissors, and of course a hot glue gun and some extra hot glue sticks. Okay, so we are starting off with the red felt for this costume. So what I'm doing here is just cutting two little strips um, of red felt just so that I can have the two stripes that you see on the front of the costume. All right, so here I'm just laying everything in place to see what I want it placed before I actually glue it down. But before I glue it down, I wanted to trace out the milk lettuce. So I went ahead and did the M just because I wanted to see what size I wanted to make it. And now I'm just tracing out the rest of the letters and then you'll see me cut the letters and place them on the shirt just so I can see where I want to place them before I actually glue them down. Because once I glue them down, it becomes permanent and um yeah so that's what i'll do right now and i'm not filming me cut each letter out because that would just be too repetitive so i'm just cutting the m out just to show y'all how i cut it out but normal how you cut anything out is what i did and then it's going to jump ahead to the next part where you see me um put the letters on the shirt to see where i actually want to place them and then i'll go ahead and start gluing them down All right, so now I'm going back to that red fabric and I'm cutting it like the, the leftover um, fabric that I have into like thick strips because I want to make the hat 
for her but the piece that I have is too small so I wanted to cut it in strips and then glue it together to make the hat longer basically or to make the strip longer so that it could fit like around the circumference of her head all right y'all so basically at this point I didn't really know too much of what I wanted to do. Like, I knew I wanted to make her a hat. I didn't know how. I knew I didn't want to overlap the felt because the felt that I had was too thick. So, I decided to, like I said, cut the two strips, glue them together. I just added those extra pieces on the inside for, like, extra um, hold. And I also did that to the other side. And then I didn't know if I wanted to add Velcro to, like, close it. But, um, ultimately, I just ended up hot gluing it together and, yeah. So I know I wanted to make a straw, but I needed something to support the straw that would be in the inside of the hat. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making the support of the straw, so I'm just making it the same size, like the circumference of the hat, I guess you could say. Um, and then I'm gonna, it's gonna be a circle. I'm gonna cut that out, and then I'm gonna, you'll see, like once I make the straw, how I attach it to the straw so that I can actually put it in the hat. All right, so now that that's cut out, um, I took the extra piece of white felt that I had left over, and this is how I'm making my straw. So I don't have to do too much explaining for that because y'all can um, see it's self-explanatory. I'm just rolling it and um, gluing it and then turning it into basically a straw. So you'll see how I do that. So to connect the straw to that circle piece, I just cut like a split down the middle, basically hot glued it on. And now I'm using some more of the red felt that I had to make some red stripes on the straw. So that's basically all I did. I didn't get to record how I actually attached the straw to the hat, but like I told y'all, I just attached the white part to the red piece, and then this is how the hat came out. So I hope you like it. <laughs> 